Oh my, we're here? We're doing the thing? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, well, it's yes. Buckeye oh, Speed yes. So I, I guess we should we should do this. We should have fun. It's a marathon. Uh, so this is Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. Welcome to Buckeye Speed Bash. I wish I had a better opening than this, but you just heard everybody talk. So you're here for video games. I'm here to play video games. So let's see some video games. Now, uh, one thing I do want to th call out here, I've been sitting on this title screen for the last half hour. If you do this for all of 30 seconds, uh, it will like lock in the RNG. So I should know what boss patterns I'm getting because I watched the demo at all and then push start. Uh, that said, Chip wears a hat. I'm sorry, Dale fans, but uh, the hat people need to stay together. We're gonna get this started. Uh, you want to count down, I'm assuming here, right? We're gonna get started in three, two, one, go. So Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers was a great show on the Disney afternoon way back in the day. Uh, it's also a great video game from Capcom where we play as chipmunks who, just like they do in the cartoon, except they don't ever do it, uh, throw crates at things and stop the fat cat. They do at least stop the fat cat. Uh, just want to call it here. Don't walk into that box. Hit, hit it in the middle on the left side. Zipper gives you the invincibility once Chip starts flashing and kills enemies, including this dog right there, just barely before disappearing off the screen. That's why we didn't walk into the box. We kind of jumped into it. And uh, yeah, welcome to the intro stage. Boost. Uh, the one thing here is these rats like to just run if they are uh, basically within a tile of you on the ground. They'll start charging instead of doing their little hoppy, laggy animation, whatever it is they actually do. I don't even know. But uh, I like it when they charge. I want them charging me because they tend to run right by you and it's be it's better that way. This game is uh, one of the Capcom's many Disney games. It's got great controls. It feels somewhat Mega Man-y just in that like, your jumps are pretty precise. And uh, here's some sort of giant scrubbing machine. And we're going to dodge these little lightning bolts and just throw this ball up in the air repeatedly. And that's it. It's over. Five hits. We're done. We're out of here. And then we get one-ups and bonus games and stuff. So uh, pretty much every boss is going to go similar to that. Similar. So this is, uh, what is this? This is all zones. That said, uh, we do have to still play a lot of the zones from the any percent category. There's, I think, all of three stages that are extra to this. But this was just in the big 20 with all zones, so it's what I've been playing. So it's what got submitted. I hope you enjoy the extra three stages, but this one will be in any percent anyway. Uh, we got these little faucets here. Just turn them off. I don't know why chipmunks are allergic to water, but uh, apparently they are. Whoa. Don't get hit by this stuff. Don't get hit. Don't get knocked into the soup. Soup is bad. At least when you're in the soup, it's bad. If you eat good soup, it's delicious. I'm going to juke this fly out of the way. I don't know why there's some flies in this game that love to just continue spawning. I'm really happy I haven't seen any of them in a while, which means we're going to see one later just because that's how luck works. Look out for it in zone G. A little juke there. So if we did this right, this will be high. We do this. And right about now, it's going to hit it again. You just hear that second bop, and that's good. That's the RNG lock. We know exactly where it's going to spawn. I'm not going to claim that's optimal or not, but we got a double hit, so that's always good. Uh, the tribal knowledge there, the like, little stuff that gets passed around that I'm not sure where it's actually written down. Uh, just hold B. You catch the ball. A lot of people, when they first start playing this game, they start uh, just trying to press B at the same time as uh, the ball gets to them. And they're like, why can't I catch this? It's impossible. It's literally impossible. How does anybody ever play this video game? Ugh, that's scary. Okay, we can jump into this door right there. Uh, I don't know why there's an owl here, but we're fighting the owl. A and C are two of the zones that you just don't play in any percent. So this tree level is kind of like... It's not hard, but it's just in the last month I've actually started having to actually play it. It's weird. C is the actual, like, really annoying one. The doppelganger's in zone B, that's true. I do remember that episode just a little bit. Somebody pretended to be Dale, and it was a good time. Uh, I am going to try and line this up here, just make sure I get Chip's back foot there. So that that jump happens. Just actually do something that's bad for speedrunning and kill all the enemies here boost 
Zone C is a little weird in that there's no actual boss, but these like bombs have a ridiculously long lasting hitbox. And again, you're not actually invincible until Chip starts flashing. It's very easy to like spawn zipper and then get hit by a bomb explosion and it's great. I don't know why Zone C doesn't have a boss or anything else like that, so... Hooray, we can talk more. Where are we going? We're going back to any percent levels. The toy house here. This stage has like three sections and each one's just more bizarre than the last. We're gonna kill all the jack-in-the-boxes here. These jumps on the bottom underneath whatever those are are actually pretty tight. It's very easy to get hit when you're making those. But we did it. We're still good. This is at least a safe route. Just go through the middle here. There's an acorn in that box if you need it. The weirdest thing about all of that is uh, those flowers on the top row. Like, when you first get them, they don't have a hitbox. Watch out for the damage boost. You might miss it. But uh, it can be really annoying when you're trying to jump over that last rooster. So be a little mindful of that. And then, uh, obviously, you saw that damage boost there looking left. It's just like a Mega Man game. Look the opposite way. Or at least most Mega Man games. And you'll get boosted through it. You do have to jump out of it before uh, you get hit again, though. So that's bad. It's not that bad. Here's this robot. Again, just hold B. Just hold B. And because I know the pattern, he's the robot's not going to come that far out onto the screen. I can really get in his face. Uh, just spend less time with that ball bouncing back and forth. It's good. We're going to go to E just to make sure that we don't forget to do E and invalidate the run of all stages. We want to play all the zones. Uh, zone E is a really weird one. It's like the zone of, like, fallen dreams or something. Because there's just a lot of cool ideas in here that are not used anywhere else in this game. They're not really used in the next game. They're just kind of here in this stage. Like this boat. What is this boat doing? It's just here. It looks cool. I like the fountain. It's a great effect. But, uh, yeah, that's it. We got this hammer. It's kind of neat. But all you really use it for is this wall. And uh, this guy. Ha! There's a star kind of chasing me from the left there. That's because I got 50 flowers. That, uh, you know, 50 flowers is the arbitrary number of things to collect to make a one-up appear on the screen. And that's it. There is an acorn above this door, but it's, like, impossible to collect. Ugh. Ah. Lightning fish is worst fish. Just for the record. It really is. And yeah, feel free to interrupt me at any point in time here, because we're just going to talk about a video game if you don't. Hey, I like talking about video games. But hey, I like talking I do about video, video games. Here. But cool. I do in fact have a $10 here. from Will WC yeah, who says, Good luck, Mr. Will Gab. Will WC who says, Good luck, Yo, Mr. Thanks, Gab. Will. Will's a regular in chat. We love him. Even if he likes another baseball team than mine. But that's for later. Whoa! Okay, so Zone F is another one of these fast zones. Um, that first section, there is a boost you can do if you're actually, you know, good at the game. And uh, you use those balls and you back boost across the pit. It's great. It saves a little bit of time. This whole section uh, is entirely scripted. These platforms kind of start spawning as uh, they scroll onto the screen. So you could kind of go back, look at this video, or go back and look at, I think Endy has a lot of the world records in this game. I haven't looked at the leaderboards in the, recently, but uh, look at one of the other runs too. It should be about the same. You're just jumping up to spawn those platforms and get things going. And once you've done that, uh, you're fine. So this zone is kind of nifty in that uh, from here on out, we're just going to go underneath all these jumping fedora lizard things. Gators? I don't even know. But they're just going to jump over me because they're that polite. Uh, this next section, there's a lot of these dogs. There's there's going to be a bee at one point. That's the big worry. There's the bee. 
So the only other thing we have to worry about here is the third one of these, like, scorpion ant lions. I don't know what they are. By killing that third one, for some reason, it despawns a second bomb there. Like, there should have been another bomb I had to pick up to get into this doorway, but there wasn't. So you see, it's like a really weird, somewhat time save. There should be one more B. There it is. I don't like this health situation, but it's not that bad. I'm either going to die or I'm not. I'm not. Uh, so the cat there, the trick there, you can kind of see Chip is just barely underneath the ball at all. Like their hitboxes vertically are barely overlapping, but that's enough to catch the ball in midair and just throw it up again. And uh, just like you always do, you throw a pile of flowers at somebody and that advances you next to another stage. I don't know. Disney afternoon. They respect the hat. They, they kind of respect the hat, but the, the lizards in those stages and the last stage also throw their hats. I mean, it is true that if you know what you're doing, there's probably like 20 ways to kill somebody with a hat, so I like that. So uh, there's three more stages for some reason. We're going to clear them. This is, again, everything else you're seeing here is the any percent route. Only A, C, and... There's a letter here. E are not in any percent. That one flying squirrel I just ducked in the crate for is a... Uh, I just don't know how to handle it. I just don't want to, like, throw the crate midair and lose my midair momentum and, like, that, and fall into the pit. There is, like, a Mega Man 3 screen wrap effect here where uh, you can get hit off the top of the screen by the acid. Ah! This one up's gonna count. That's from getting uh, 50 flowers. Zone H is actually pretty, pretty tough. I has, I has, that's a really weird way to start a sentence, but it is true. Uh, these storks that you're gonna see, or the, I think they're storks. Yeah, pelicans have the, the beaks that don't have the thing. Fan jump, but uh, if you throw it directly at their mouths, they will eat crate and send it back. So you have to kind of aim for the legs. Sweep the legs. Otherwise, you're stuck looking for another crate with this fan pushing on you, which is just really annoying. Get up here. Let's go. Jump. We did it. We did it. Monterey Jack needs more screen time. Ah, don't, don't get rid of it. I need to kill this route. This robot mouse. I want to just tap left first. It doesn't matter, though. Uh, I just want to get Zipper and get out of here. I could get health there. There's actually quite a bit of backup health throughout this game. And uh, I know there's also a way to get a, like, two-and-a-half cycle kill on this thing. And I never actually learned it. So we're just going to kill it the old-fashioned way. Which is probably the second best way to kill it anyway. Shouts to you, like the traditional cartoon giant insect that like to breaks apart. Yo, more one ups. So final zone. Part of the RNG lock that we got at the very beginning of this when I was talking about cutscenes at the beginning of the game is I know what Fat Cat's pattern is gonna be, because Fat Cat has this basically like contra spreader-esque attack that is really annoying. So uh yeah, we're not going to worry about that so much. Ah! For some reason, if you duck... Like, these weasels uh, will take two crates throws to actually kill. Uh, but if you are ducking inside your crate, that one-shots them. For whatever the reason. Come on. Let's go, Caddy. Uh, this last section, this is the easy part because you just throw crates, get them out of the way, free acorn right there. But then you get to deal with, uh, this. I want to get rid of that guy. Uh-oh. We're just going to let that guy go. 
Okay, let's see if I really got this. Two, three, four. Yo, we PB'd by two seconds. What a video game. See, Fat Cat usually like moves that cigar around. Those ashes are really annoying to dodge every. But the RNG lock has been really good for that. I think we're good. Thank thanks for letting me lead off with this very silly game. It's an amazing it's a game. Silly game, but very, very good game. <laughs> Got it. Got anything else you um, wanna? Got anything else you wanna plug before? I, th I think that's good. I mean, you know, back. this was one of the games in the Big Twenty. Those were a lot of really fun. Goals. This game is a fun game. Play this game. I'm gonna plug the next run because Concert is playing Mega Man ZX, and that's also a great game that is now actually streamable because of the Zero Collection at the beginning of the year from the before time. So, uh, yeah, take it away. Thanks for having me. <laughs>